Hey everybody. Welcome to another episode of Up To No Goof. This is the show where I talk about Disney the way I remember it. So a lot of you had a lot of input on what you thought the next Up To No Goof should be and they were all great, but the one I decided to settle on was my top 10 Disney sidekicks. I feel like that's a thing. So number 10 on my list is Pascal from Tangled. You know him as the little tiny chameleon that sits on Rapunzel's shoulder. Now why is he on this list? He's one of the only sidekicks in Disney history that actually kills the villain. He trips Mother Gothel and she dies and she's dead. And that's all thanks to Pascal. Thanks little guy. Next up we have Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King. Why are these guys significant? A, they provide comedy relief in a rather tragic movie, and that's very important. Not only that, but Timon and Pumbaa literally adopt Simba. And then, to top it all off, they left the perfect paradise to go to their homeboy's old hood um, and disrupt the flow of things by threatening hyenas in hula skirts. I mean, if that's not a good friend, I don't know what's a good friend. That's, that's, that's the homie. That's my homie. You know what I'm saying? Next up we have Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. I know he's a little bit uptight, and I know he's kind of a jerk, but think about it. As a primarily aquatic species, the crab then takes it upon himself to go on land with Ariel and help her hook up with the dude. He sets up literally the perfect date. He sings for the date. He gets other species to come together so that they can make out for just a second. Not only that, but he gives a really solid advice like, You've got to pock your lips like this. You've got to bat your eyes. I guess that's not very sexy. So next on the list is someone you probably wouldn't expect, and that's LeFou from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, you know, the little guy that walks around with Gaston everywhere, and he was like, oh, no, right, Gaston, you're the best ever. Here's why he's a good wingman. His whole ideology, his whole mindset in the whole movie is to follow Gaston around and make him look really good. So he just walks around, hyping him up all the time, like, Good shot, Gaston. Nailed it, bro. Hey, you want a beer? I got you, dog. He walks into the bar and he preps him up. He builds him up like, yo, Gaston sitting in the corner over there in that chair with all the antlers. Dude looks good right now. Dude looks real good. Gaston wouldn't be Gaston if he didn't think he was awesome all the time. And LeFou is a big part of that. So thanks, LeFou. Thanks for giving Gaston megalomania. We really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. This list is about to get a little bananas because we got Turk. Yeah. No, Turk, the gorilla from Tarzan. The one you're not quite sure if it's a boy or a girl. Actually, a really good sidekick, and here's why. When none of the other apes accepted Tarzan into their lives, Turk was like, all right, you can eat lunch at our table. But um, he's always, Turk is a he, right? She? I mean, it's Rosie O'Donnell, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I just like Tarzan a lot, I don't know. One of the traits that makes a good friend a good friend is their ability to keep a secret. And no one keeps a secret better than Nakoma from Pocahontas. Poco is always up to no good. Poco, no go. But yeah, she's always getting herself into trouble and Nakoma is always like, don't, don't do that. You probably shouldn't jump off that cliff. Okay, you jumped off the cliff. I'm not gonna tell your dad or anything, but you shouldn't, okay, yeah, don't run off with the strangers right now. Don't, she ran off with the strangers. I'm not gonna say anything, because you're my girl. That is a good friend. Poco and Noko for life. This next sidekick actually doesn't get his fame from a movie, although he is technically in a Disney movie. He's actually a sidekick on two shows in the Disney afternoon, and that is Launchpad McQuack. He was a sidekick in DuckTales and in Darkwing Duck. As a matter of fact, in Darkwing Duck, he started lifting and dude got beefy. So here's why Launchpad is awesome. Apparently, he's in high demand. He's getting hired all over Duckburg, and he must be the only pilot, or the only duck pilot, and ducks have some sort of like thing where they only hire other ducks. I don't know, because the Bugle Boys were dogs and they were in prison and there's this elitist duck society that only hires other ducks to fly their planes. Uh, but think about it. Um, he has access to Scrooge's gold because he's like just living at his house and he knows Darkwing Duck's secret identity. That's some high profile knowledge and information to be carrying around. Whenever there's d -d -d danger, he's there, he's right behind him and somewhere some villain schemes, but the number's up because here comes Launchpad McQuack. Not to mention that he's the name of the hit song from the Sex Bob Bombs from Scott Pilgrim. This one's called Launchpad McQuack. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Next up on the list is Sven from Frozen. Yeah, I had to give Frozen some love. But here's why. Not only are reindeer better than people, but Sven, you know, he kind of saves the day on multiple occasions. A, he pulls that sled while being chased by wolves who naturally hunt him. Okay. When Kristoff is like, I don't know if I should go back. And he's like, yeah, you idiot, go back there. Nudge, nudge. Not only does he save their lives, but he also saves their relationship. And that's what makes Sven 
better than people. For this next sidekick, um, I couldn't really separate these two. I kind of thought they went together like chocolate and peanut butter. Also, I didn't want to have two sidekicks from the same movie in different spots, and they're both equally valuable in this film. So for this spot, I'm giving it to Abu and Magic Carpet from Aladdin. Um, what's Aladdin do? He'd be dead if it wasn't for Abu and Carpet. Think about it, he gets locked in a prison, who gets him out? Abu. Guards chasing him, who lets him flip into the room? Abu. Uh, the cave is collapsing and you're about to die in molten magma. Oh no, the carpet's gonna fly you out, saves the day. Yeah, and then Jafar puts Aladdin inside the little thing, and then he ate four, and he goes to the Arctic, and oh my god, I'm so cold. Oh my god, a magic carpet. I'm gonna fly all the way back to Agrabah on another hemisphere. And if it wasn't for Abu and for Carpet, Aladdin literally would have died four times in this film. Last but not least, number one on this list is probably the greatest Disney sidekick of all time. Not only is he great for what he did in the movie, but he's actually a reoccurring character that Disney has used through books and stories and cartoons and shorts. And that honor of best sidekick uh, goes to Jiminy Cricket. He gets tasked by a fairy to be an awesome sidekick. She's like, hey, Jiminy, check this out. I'm gonna turn this wooden doll, I'm gonna bring it to life, it's gonna walk around. But he can't think right because he's made of wood, so you need to follow him around, right on his shoulder, under his hat, you know, keep it on the DL. Just make sure that he does smart things. And when he doesn't, you gotta kinda be there to bring him back. That's a tall order for a little cricket, but I think you've got it in you. And he's just like, well, well, okay, you know, and he just handles that. Like in every iteration, Jiminy Cricket is a conscience who teaches people to do the right thing, spanning the Disney universe. He wasn't just like, peace out, you're never gonna see me again. He's like, I gotta find another movie. And that's why Jiminy Cricket is number one on my list of all time Disney sidekicks. So in the comments below, let me know what you thought of my list. If you have different opinions, I'd love to hear them, although I won't value them as highly as my own. Let me know who you would have put on this list, and also let me know what other lists you'd like me to do on the next Up To No Goof. Make sure you like and subscribe, but go down into the comments below and I'll have a link to my last Up To No Goof so you can check that one out, which was the top 10 Disney dogs. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys in my next video. And remember, let your conscience be your guide, especially if it's a small little cricket that you carry around with you. It's kind of gross, but endearing in a weird way. Good luck with that.